and I love making DIY holiday and family style videos. If that's something you would enjoy, I would love to have you subscribe. But today I am so excited because I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make these gorgeous tea bombs. Everything in this tea bomb is completely edible, even the flowers. And I also would like to think that my tea bombs are a little special because I actually added a flower in here that is supposed to change color with any acidity added to it. So you will for sure want to stick around to the end of the video to see me test these out and to find out if they really do change color when we add lemon to our tea. Now let's get started on this amazing DIY. I landed up choosing um, some tea I had in my pantry, which was pomegranate white tea, and I also have some chamomile tea. Everything else I will link down below, I actually purchased from Amazon. So the first thing is these um, sphere sil silicone molds, and this came in a pack of three. Again, I will link it down below. I also have some of this edible glitter. It's called diamond dust, and it's used for cakes. I also purchased some isomalt crystals that I got off Amazon, but if you live near a Hobby Lobby, I saw some of these crystals in the cake section of Hobby Lobby. And you will also need, if you want the amazing color changing effects, this butterfly pea flower. And this is supposed to change amazing shades of color um, once um, anything acidic is added to it. So we'll see how it looks when we add our lemon and lime. Okay, so now I'm gonna be melting down the isomalt crystals. And I did find that to make a half a sphere, so one of these, you need about an eighth of a cup of the isomalt crystals. You actually probably need even a little less than that, but I like to have just a little um, leeway. And I like to make one half of a sphere at a time. It's just easier to navigate instead of filling all of these. Okay, so this is the consistency. As you can see, all the granules have melted and it's a clear bubbly substance and this is when it's an indicator that the isomalt crystals are all done.
the finished shells for the tea bombs. I love the way they came out. I made an assortment of different colors and we are going to do the best part now, which is putting the tea bombs together. I just thought it would add to the overall aesthetic of the tea bombs to make um, them with these gorgeous edible flowers. So I did buy these packets off Amazon and I will link it down below. And I just think it'll create a really um, gorgeous tea bomb if I use some of these dried flowers. I'm going to be adding the tea bag. And then also you will want to add about five to six of the um, butterfly pea flowers to get the color changing effect. And I'm also just gonna add roses. Okay, so as you can see, I have my lower half ready to go. And I have the top portion of the shell here. What I'm just going to do is melt down the seam a bit. I just melted it and I am going to fuse the two sides together. And just hold it there for a second. But look how cute this came out, guys. Here is our first tea bomb. Some of the leftover isomalt here that's on the pan, I'm going to use to stick a little rose at the top of my tea bomb. So there we have it, our first little tea bomb. Oh my gosh, guys, check out all that amazing glitter. I don't know about you guys, but when I see glitter, it's like a moth to the flame. I just love it. I can't stop staring at it. And as Hi. I did before, I'm going to melt one seam and then quickly, since it's still hot, fuse it together. It's going to add this little rosette to the top of the tea bomb. And there is our purple tea bomb. We are all finished making our tea bombs. I am loving these so much. I would love to know what you all think in the comments down below. And please give this a big thumbs up if you like what you see. But let's get to the really good part, which is putting these in hot water. And I'm interested to see if they really do change colors. Oh guys, you can really see the color changing. really do work guys beautiful burgundy color. sample this now and let you guys know what I think. Mm, that is so good. It tastes exactly like my favorite pomegranate tea. I highly recommend it and honestly say I've never had a more beautiful cup of tea than this. 
Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making these tea bombs with all of you. If you enjoyed this, please give me a big thumbs up and we will catch you on our next video. Bye.